Technique Magazine. In this short video, we're going to be going over changing colors in your airbrush. To those of you who are, have experience airbrushing, this is pretty simple. But to those new to airbrushing, it can <clears throat> be a little perplexing. So we'll go over changing colors in both the Gravity Feed Airbrush and a Siphon Feed Airbrush. We'll go over water-based paint first. I'm using a water-based paint like Golden, Createx's new Autoborn, Aquaflow, Createx, the old Auto Air, Pro Color, Comart, Dr. Martin's E-Tech. Generally, in a bottom feed airbrush, you're going to be using a fast blast bottle to keep your colors in. If you're airbrushing t-shirts, it's generally best to have at least three airbrushes, one for black, one for white, and one for colors. If you can't have uh, six or seven, three is best rather than trying to change colors in one airbrush all the time. What you do is unplug your fast blast bottle. Have another fast blast bottle ready with your cleaner in it, either straight water or a mild cleaning solution. Airbrush cleaner always works best. Medea makes them. Badger also, I believe, makes them. Easy Air, a company called Easy Air makes them. You can spray it out into a paper towel. So you pretty much get no color through. Also back flush the airbrush by sticking a paper towel over the end. Pulling the trigger. And it, as you can see it back flushes through the bottle. That cleans the inside of the airbrush out. As far as spray off goes it gets pretty messy. Spraying it off into a paper towel all the time. You don't want to just spray it out into the air. It's not very healthy. You can make your own spray off can of about a can like this. It's fairly easy. Old Clorox bottles. Fill it full of paper towels. Put your top back on and spray off in there. What's nice about these is the top doesn't allow a lot of the spray off to come back out into the atmosphere. You can also buy spray off units. Medea makes one in combination with an airbrush holder for about $20. After you plug your cleaner in, again you just spray through until you don't get any paint left. Plug your next color in and go on to spray. If you're using a gravity feed airbrush with water-based colors, basically the same Kind of deal, use an airbrush cleaner, a mild cleaning detergent. Don't use Windex or anything with ammonia in it. It'll eat the chrome out of your airbrush eventually. What you want to do is spray off all your color so that your color cup's empty. Put your cleaner in and you can use a little paintbrush to swish it around and clean the side of the bowl out. Again, you spray it off in a paper towel or airbrush cleaning station. Again, you can back flush gravity feed the same way you did the bottom feed by sticking a paper towel over the end, pulling the trigger, and letting it back through, come back through the color cup. That pretty much covers it for water-based paint. Now we'll do solvent-based paint. With automotive products like House of Color, Chroma Base, any of the urethane paints, you want to clean your brush with lacquer thinner or reducer. Instead of having a fast blast bottle full of airbrush cleaner as you would with a water based paint, you fill it full of lacquer cleaner. You spray through your uh, color the same way you would water based paint into a paper towel or cleaning station. If you're going to use a cleaning station with solvent based paint, make sure the plastic you build your cleaning station out of is solvent proof, of course. Always wear a respirator with solvent based paint. And the gravity feed airbrush. Again, you clean it out with lacquer thinner or reducer, spraying it into a paper towel or clean up station. A big thing to remember about a gravity feed airbrush 
is because the cower cup is this big, doesn't mean you have to fill the entire cower cup up with color. Just put a couple drops of paint in your cower cup and you'll be surprised how far it goes. It makes cleaning your airbrush, gravity feed airbrush out a lot easier if you don't fill it all the way up to the top so that you have to completely clean it. Again, you can use a paintbrush, a small paintbrush to clean the inside out just by pouring a little lacquer thinner, which I keep in a solvent proof bottle like this, in your color cup. Take your paper towel or paintbrush, clean around the inside, and spray it off. Do the same thing with lacquer, with uh, solvent based paints. You can back flush both airbrushes just as we did with the water-based paint. And that pretty much covers how to clean, change colors real quickly in your airbrush. You can use fast blast bottles with solvent-based paint also, as long as you make sure that the fast blast bottle you buy is solvent-proof. You want to put solvent-based paint in a bottle. If it's not, it will melt into a pile of gunk on your studio desk. Not good. This is Don at Airbrush Technique Magazine, airbrushtechniquemagazine.com. If you have any other airbrush related questions or problems, you can register on our airbrush support form, airbrushtechnique.com. For free airbrush lessons, you can go to howtoairbrush.com. Thanks.